Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 4th. I'm Hattie Turney. Attention History Club members. Dues are due to Mrs. Blackburn or an officer in an envelope with your name on it by Tuesday, September 9th. If you were unable to attend our meeting on September 2nd and still wish to join, you may still sign up with Mrs. Blackburn. We still ask that you have your dues turned in by the 9th. Any students interested in being a member of the Scholastic Quiz Team should see Ms. Rogers in room 224 as soon as possible. This includes past members. Ms. Rogers needs to know if you are going to continue competing in the competition. Also, we are looking for students to form a JV team to represent Wimber. The Middle School Guard is looking for new members. Anyone in grades 6 through 8 that is interested in Guard or just wants to check it out may attend our practices being held in the Auxiliary Gym. Our practice dates are Wednesdays starting on September 10th and will last from 6 to 8 p.m. Attention high school students interested in helping out with homecoming decorations. Meetings and work times will be Tuesdays in Ms. Brodish's room from 2.30 until 3.30. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Brodish. Leroux College will be holding an open house on Saturday, November 8th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Come and meet our faculty, explore our majors, and tour our campus. You may register online at leroux.edu. There will be an ACE program informational session today for the Penn Highlands College in the college's Richland Campus Auditorium. This session is to inform you on how you can earn college credits while still in high school. Everyone is invited to attend. The Pennsylvania Maple Festival Committee would like to invite Somerset County ladies in the class of 2015 to compete and return an application, judges information sheet, and photograph by September 30th, 2014. Please see Mrs. Spangler or Mrs. Ponchak for the information regarding this opportunity. There will be a stage crew meeting after school today in room 205. Today in sports, the girls varsity and JV volleyball team play home against Connemaw Township at 7. Junior high football, football also plays home at 7 against Connemaw Township. And the boys and girls junior high soccer team plays away at Rockwood. Good luck to all teams. Today for lunch, we will be having an open-faced hot chicken sandwich, mashed potatoes and gravy, coleslaw, applesauce, diced pears, and a dinner roll. Tomorrow for breakfast, we are having breakfast pizza, assorted cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks and have a great day. Oh, all right. <laughs> ah, I guess I'll have to turn in my blood drive forms by Friday, September 5th. Ah. Ouch. Good morning. Ryan here with your morning weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 82 degrees and temperatures will drop to 66 degrees overnight. Tomorrow will be, tomorrow will be a little warmer with a high of 85 degrees and a low of 67 with a chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Thanks and have a great day. Shall we begin? I'm here with Michaela from the Outdoor Color Guard. Michaela, how are your practices going so far? They're going real good. We have one of the three songs done so far, and everyone's practicing really hard. Well, that's great to hear. And what do you expect from the Color Guard this competition season? I expect a lot of new experiences because although we're not doing as many competitions as we usually do, we're going to have a lot of parades, so that will be new for us. All right, sounds great. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. I'm here with Kyle Houston of the boys varsity soccer team. Kyle, how are your practices going so far? Uh, they're, they're going pretty good. A little, little rough, but they're good. That's good. And what do you expect from this season? Um, I expect a very good outcome this year. I mean, we have a good team set up. We're working hard. We're doing good. All right, thanks, Kyle. I'm here with Jen Nyhoff from the girls volleyball team. Jen, how's your practices going so far? They're going well, and we're working hard, so... <laughs> All right. And what do you expect from this season? Um, I expect a very good outcome and probably make it to playoffs and hopefully do good. 
All right. Well, thanks, Jenny. Yeah, Alec Jeske from the football team. Alec, how are your practices going so far? I would say they're going pretty good right now. And what do you expect from this season from your team? I'm not sure. I, I expect to, to win some pretty big games, and we'll see where that goes. All right. Well, thanks, Alec, and good luck. I love everything about Wimber. We just have pretty much everything that you would need. The town of Wimber has that extra something. Everybody knows you. You're watching out for each other. It's a strong community that sticks together. It's a sense of belonging to a family. My family's all from here, and it's just a wonderful place. There's something that brings you back here. No matter where I go, Wimber is my home.